It's time to go home. You've been taking care of us ever since Pamela died. In the pilot episode, we meet Danny at a time when he's still reeling from the recent death of his wife. Her passing has really left a void in his family's lives, and Danny needs some help raising his daughter, so he decides to get help from his sex-crazed brother-in-law, Jesse Consopolis, and a moron he seems to know named Uncle Joey. Right away, Uncle Jesse presents himself to be quite the pre-Me Too Lothario, who is ill-equipped to be a caregiver. In fact, he seems more interested in his own sexual exploits and budding musical career than in caring for the Tanner girls. Vanessa, have mercy. <laughs> Uncle Joey, on the other hand, is clearly a very funny comedian, but whether he can care for the children remains to be seen. We are going to have so much fun, aren't we, kids? We get our first hint of trouble when DJ shows her frustration at having to share a room with Stephanie when she divides the room with a piece of yellow tape. There was some pushback about this plot point because it had also been done on Isle of Lucy, The Brady Bunch, The Munsters, Gilligan's Island, The Flintstones, Happy Days, Leave it to Beaver, Laverne and Shirley, The Wonder Years, Perfect Strangers, and no fewer than 61 other sitcoms, but we thought, you know, whatever. This storyline reaches its apex when we find out that DJ has moved out, according to Stephanie, presumably due to her unhappiness at the room situation. This vaults Danny into a panic, but it's short-lived, as Stephanie knows her sister has been in the garage the whole time. At this point, it's up to Uncle Joey to try and get her to come back into the house. Nice job, Dad. Been reading Cosby's book? <laughs> Cosby, I'll handle this. No, they're a small childlike person. <laughs> if you move back into the house, you can have a big juicy bowl of jello. <laughs> well, obviously that didn't age very well, but at the time it was very funny, and he does sound exactly like Bill Cosby. Music? I'll handle this. Who? <laughs> Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. They're a modern Stone Age family. Everybody sing along. From the town of Bedrock, they're a page right out of history. Let's sing a walk. That cost us $10 million in royalties. But we thought a fun scene with them all together would be a great way to end the episode. It was then that we decided to end every episode with the entire cast singing the theme to the Flintstones. It nearly bankrupted CBS. Which is weird because we were on ABC. Hey, take it down, guys. We'll have a yabba dabba do time. A dabba do time. We'll have a yabba dabba do time.